Oh, hey kids, welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Taro. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. Thank goodness you're here. I really need your help. Oh man, oh man, am I happy to see y'all. I thought I was a goner. So here's the situation. You see this behind me? Really, really weird, right? Well, the other day I was walking through my backyard and then all of a sudden, I fell down a really deep hole. I fell forever. And then suddenly, I ended up here. Where's here, you ask? That is a good question. I have no idea. Like, I've sat here and wondered where I am for hours. All I've done is wonder, wonder, and wonder in this land. I don't know, might as well call it Wonderland or something. Mm, that doesn't sound so good. Anywho, y'all have any guesses where I am? Because I figured if I found out where I am, I could get out of here. You know what I'm saying? So take a good look. Got any ideas? Carl? Jada! How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, you know, as good as I can be right now. Huh. By the way, where are you right now? Well, your guess is as good as mine. I just told the kids that I fell down this crazy hole and now I'm here. Well, have you tried doing the rhyme? Rhyme? What are you talking about? You don't know about the rhyme? I thought everyone knew about the rhyme. Well, I haven't. What is it? Well, whenever you're lost, you say the rhyme, and just like that, you'll be found and know exactly where you are. Are you kidding? What's the rhyme? Tell me the rhyme! Okay, okay. It goes, Roger Dodger Buttercup. Roger Dodger Buttercup. Rumble Crumble Guzzle Flup. Rumble, crumble, goozer plup. <laughs> that, why didn't it work? Was that a joke? Did you make that up? I did, I did. It was pretty good though, right? Um, no, it wasn't Jada. I'm fine for my life over here and you're making me act like a citizen of Whoville. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. It's all right, but seriously, you know how you get me out here? I actually do. It's kind of a crazy idea though. Crazier than that rhyme? Not really. Okay, what is it? All right, here it is. Back up. Back up? Yeah, I think it might help. Okay, if you think so. Whoa, I know this place. It's our local fairground. Thanks, Jada. No problem, Carl. How'd you know that's gonna work? Hmm, I had a hunch. And sometimes it helps to see the bigger picture. The bigger picture? What do you mean by that? Well, it was hard to tell where you were just by the little we saw, but backing up showed us the bigger picture and helped us realize what the situation really was. Wow, that's really smart. Thanks, Carl. It helped Job, so I figured it would help you. Job was stuck at a local fair? No, not exactly. You see, Job was going through a rough time. <laughs> yeah, that's the understatement of the year. Last week, we talked about how Job's feelings were so big that he needed to talk to God and God listened. And that's the end, folks. Well, not really. What? What more could have happened? Well, what happens when we usually talk to someone? Uh, they talk back. That's right. And guess what? God talked back to Job. <gasps> After Job told God all about his big feelings, God had a very big message for Job. Let's read what God says. Where were you when I laid the earth's foundation? Tell me if you understand. Who marked off its dimensions? Surely you know. Who stretched a measuring line across it? Oh, what were its footing set? Or who laid its cornerstone? While the morning stars sang together and all the angels shouted for joy. Uh-oh, someone's in trouble. It's nothing like that. I think God was trying to get Job to understand that there was so much he knew nothing about. God asked Job more things like, can he talk to the clouds or send lightning bolts or provide food for all the animals? Okay, well the answer is no. Job couldn't do any of that, right? No, Carl. No human can do any of those things. Aha! That explains everything! It does? Not one bit. Explain it, please. <laughs> okay. Well, think about it. At first, Job continued to praise God, even though all these bad things were happening to him. So Job had talked to God about everything in his life that was going wrong. He was upset with the situation he was in right now, but God wanted Job to see the bigger picture. How would God do that? Well, you just heard it in God's own words. 
Huh, to be honest, it sounds like God was planning 20 questions. But really, God was helping Job get another view. God was reminding Job who created the universe, who provides for the animals and makes sure the birds of the air are fed. It's God, always has been and always will be. Oh. If God can do all of those things that we can't do, not even a little, it shows us that God is able to do anything. That means even our biggest problems won't be a problem for God at all. So we have to trust that God can take care of it. We have to look at the bigger picture. This world and our lives aren't about us. It's about loving God and loving the people God has created. I couldn't agree more. I love that God can see the bigger picture, so we can too. Well, you heard it. The big idea is that God sees the big picture. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. God sees the big picture. Good job, everybody. So make sure you tune in next week to hear more about Job's story and to hear what Carl's been up to. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Here it is raining cats and dogs. That means it's raining a whole lot. So much rain that I can't even go outside and play. But that's okay, right? There's so much to do inside too. Oh, guess what? Remember my mom had to take my grandma to the hospital? Well, my grandma called me today. She said she's coming home today. I am so excited. If you prayed for her with me, thank you so much. She's doing better and said I can come over later once this rain stops. But in the meantime, there's this puzzle I never got to finish. Do you like puzzles? Yes, we love puzzles. Yay! I love puzzles too. I love how I can only see one piece at a time until the big picture is completed. While I put this awesome puzzle together, let's check out today's Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. We're back in the book of Job. When we left Job last week, he was talking to God and going to God with his big feelings. Isn't it comforting to know that we can do that? And when we cry out to God with our big feelings, God not only hears and cares, but God answers. And that's what happens in today's Bible story. God answers Job's cries, but God doesn't answer them in the way we think God might. Remember? Job was going through a pretty rough time and had a lot of really bad stuff happening to him. Remember, he lost his family and everything he had. Job probably wanted to hear God say, everything is going to be okay. Then take away all the bad stuff in his life. But that's not how God answered Job. In fact, God answered Job by asking some questions. First, God asked Job, if he was there when God created the world. But Job wasn't. God asked Job if he can build mountains or control the weather. Of course Job couldn't. God was not being a meanie by asking these questions. God is trying to get Job to see something called the big picture. God wanted Job to remember that God was in charge of everything in the world. Things Job didn't know anything about. God was showing Job that there was so much more happening than his own problems. What Job was going through was hard, really hard. He lost everything and was in a lot of pain. Job was doing the right thing by talking to God about this. And God cared so much about Job. But we can't forget that we only see a small piece of a much bigger picture because God doesn't. God sees the big picture. So here it is. The puzzle is finished. And this is so different from where it started. We began with small pieces that seemed to make no sense. But when we put it together, it makes one big picture. It makes me think about the Bible story. 
Job didn't know why bad things were happening, but God helped him see that only God knows everything. Even though we don't, we can trust God will take care of us. Today's big idea is, God sees the big picture. Can you say that with me, friends? God sees the big picture. That also helps me understand what happened with my grandma. I was so sad that my grandma had to go to the hospital. But she needed to go to the hospital so that she could get the medicine she needed to get better. I was so scared and nervous, but God already knew how it would turn out. God saw the whole picture. Thanks for tuning in today and growing with me. Today was such a fun day. And look, the rain has stopped and now we can go to my grandma's house. Catch you next time.